For many years, we've studied falls and we've come to realize that there's a wide range of risk factors that are associated with falls. This is one of the reasons why falls are so resistant to intervention. Another reason, another barrier to fall prevention is lack of objective evidence on the cause and circumstances of falls. We started working with two long-term care facilities in the Vancouver area that already had networks of digital video cameras. We were able to collect 227 falls experienced by 130 individuals. That's the basis for the analysis that we did. Our article in The Lancet focuses on fall initiation. What was the activity at the time of the fall? And what was the reason the person lost their balance? 70% of falls were due to failed attempts at performing daily activities. Another common cause was loss of support with an external object. This is the reason really why falls are so frequent in frail older adults living in long-term care. Now most falls don't cause injury. I mean, we all know older adults who have fallen, able to get up and shake it off. But the truth is that falls are so frequent that they produce 27,000 annual hip fractures in Canada every year.